Welcome to Stracon 3D Design Tutorial. How to create a drawing derived from a 3D model. My drawing is based on the editing mode cube model, which I can determine when saving a new con file. Here I have already created segments, title blocks, headings and axis grid. In the cube I constructed the ground floor of my building model with different components like foundations, walls and slabs. Using model references, I can insert further parts of the building model from other con files, in this case the upper floor. Model references are always created or updated when saving a con file. I can show and hide them in the model reference subwindow or via the project structure into which the model reference is integrated. The view menu offers various display options, switching external objects in color, the color representation by material or part type, or the transparent material colors which I use now for the creation of my first section. In the start menu I select the function create section. The model automatically rotates into top view. Linear or polygonal section is available. With the first left click I determine the starting point of the sectioning line, each further point with further left clicks for ending the right click. Then I choose depth of the cut, left click again. Finally I define the top and bottom edge of the cut, two left clicks to define the cutout. Now I can rotate and look at the section and, if necessary, hide individual objects that should be invisible. I turn the section back into the exact frontal view, then export it to the drawing as a 3D view. On the drawing I can choose different options via the lower toolbar or open the global settings via the double arrow. Here I can determine all possible display options, for example formwork or reinforcement drawing, pen thickness, line types, etc. We will see the material and scale dependent settings later. By left clicking I place the section on the drawing, the cube opens again, but I don't want to use it right now. So let's take a closer look at the section. With the correction using the freehand symbol C, I have several options such as to switch hidden lines off or on. I open the complete settings dialog via global. Here I can make changes concerning the display of the 3D view. As an example I change the pen thickness of the section lines to 0.7, independent of material and scale. After closing the dialog with OK, the change is accepted immediately. You can see it by the blue pen color. Via the menu settings, I open the material administration. Here I can make settings for pens and hatching, for three different scale ranges and the reinforcement drawing display. As an example, I change the hatching in scale range 2 for concrete C2025. The material administration is saved under the path mentioned above. To apply the change, I select my 3D view with the freehand symbol C and update it. The settings for the scale ranges in the material administration can be found under settings 3D design. Here I can determine the scale ranges individually. Of course, a subsequent modification of the cutting geometry is also possible. Freehand symbol C, then edit. There are different tools to modify this what we call section box, for example extrude areas. In order to be able to look into the section box, I switch it transparent. 
Now the 3D objects inside can be hidden if they should not be displayed in the section. Finish editing with OK and the section will be adjusted directly according to my changes. Quickly move the caption. Now we want to create more sections. Back to the cube. Create section. This time as a linear section. Enter the sectioning line. Determine depth and top and bottom edges of the cut. Then export to the drawing. The 3D view is scaled correctly according to the segment scale. Finally, I would like to create a plan view, meaning a horizontal section. Therefore, I turn the model by using the cube into the exact view first, then I select the function. For the representation of the ground floor, I lead the sectioning line directly through the ceiling. The view direction must always go downwards. Before exporting the drawing, I can also hide individual components that are not to be displayed. After exporting, I select the engineer's view for the plan view to mirror the viewing direction. With the help of the automatic point snap and the input of correction values, I place the plan view on my axis grid exactly where I want it. After completing my drawing with dimensions, etc., changes are of course still welcome. To do this, we go back to the cube and make the change in the model, for example, moving a door. Back to the drawing, I start the correction function with the freehand symbol C and update all 3D views. Representation and associated dimensions are automatically adjusted. Let's swap to another example, a reinforcement drawing. I can activate the 3D reinforcement in the view menu below detailing. In the tooltips, I can find information about the reinforcement, for example item number, quantity and dimensions. For the representation of reinforcement from other drawings, I can load these as a model reference. Here the reinforcement from the foundation. The settings for a 3D view in a reinforcement drawing are slightly different from the 3D views in a formwork drawing. Here the option Reinforcement Drawing is selected for 3D views, as well as the representation of connecting reinforcement from the model reference. Even with reinforcement drawings, the maintenance of changes is always an issue. To edit the model we have to turn back to the original of course. As an example, I will change the window sizes of my already reinforced wall. As you can see in the video cube wall and slab, we use the grip points to change walls. Never forget to save, so that the model reference is updated. It is also best to update the 3D views when we crested here in the formwork plan. Return to the reinforcement drawing via the menu window. Update all affected 3D views, yes. Confirm the reinforcement modifications with OK and queries in the lower toolbar. Views and reinforcement are automatically adjusted. Finally, a last example for a section with the setting reinforcement drawing and its results. I think we already know the sequence of the function create a section. Sectioning line, section depth, top and bottom edge. 
and as many times before, export to the drawing. Before placing, I select the option Reinforcement Drawing in the lower toolbar. Now all existing reinforcement items are offered for placement one after the other. I select Create and place the related reinforcement labels. Many automatic aids that make it easier to design a drawing in a 3D planning and reduce mistakes due to the dependency on the model.